everyone, Allegra Miller here to share with you the Astro Alchemy for today, March 15th, 2021. Uh, I have, for simplicity's sake, divided the essential oils I will be speaking about relative to the astrology into two different categories. In the basic category, for those of you that may be just getting started, you're likely to have at least one of the following oils, doTERRA Balance, Peppermint, and Wild Orange. And in the specialty category, for those of you that have more oils to work with, you're likely to have at least one of the following, doTERRA Clary Calm, Green Mandarin, and Slim and Sassy. Do keep in mind there is a major difference with the brand doTERRA. If you don't yet have doTERRA, please reach out. I'd love to support you in getting started. I have been using, teaching about, and selling doTERRA for over seven years and truly enjoy helping people transform their lives through uh, the incorporation of these amazing products into daily habits. So reach out. Also keep in mind that not only do I sell doTERRA, I offer naturopathic consultations, body work, and life coaching sessions. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, the astrology is, uh, well, well, we're still under the influence of the Aries energy, which I've spoken about in the last couple days. I encourage you to listen to those videos. Um, as for today at 9.51 a.m., the Aries moon is sextile Jupiter in Aquarius. This will encourage us to be more social and outgoing and take actions on, on things that involve other people that maybe um, maybe things that we haven't for one reason or another taken action on. This will help give us that gentle area nudge to, uh, to stop procrastinating, reach out, and it will be very harmonious for that. It will help us um, get the right connections and um, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a good connection or it's a good oil for uh, positive social outcomes. So uh, that is the first thing. And with that in mind, wild orange is a very good oil to improve your uh, outflow and um, capacity to you know, get out of your your social bubble and take some extroverted act, uh, action. Wild orange helps us keep in a, keep us in a consciousness of abundance and joy, and um, it's just a very uplifting oil. So putting this in the diffusers, putting it in your water, um, this is a, a nice, I just put it in my water, boom, boom. Make sure it's glass, not plastic. Um, lots of benefits of wild orange, good for immunity. But um, anyway, I chose that for that. Also Slim and Sassy has uh, very good oils for keeping us focused, helps us. It's got some cinnamon in there, which will add some fire to our energy in terms of helping us be more social and outgoing. Um, put my other phone on airplane mode, okay. Um, anyway, Slim and Sassy internally with this one will help uh, keep you focused. I chose that one specifically because we're under the influence of a lot of Pisces. I know yesterday as an afterthought, I thought about it after I did yesterday's video, I talked about how the Aries energy is kind of a relief because we were under the influence of Pisces sun and Pisces moon, but, um, but really we're under the influence still of Pisces sun, uh, Venus, Neptune, asteroid Pallas in Pisces, and now Mercury moving into Pisces, which I'm about to talk about. Um, so Slim and Sassy will help us with all that Piscean energy to, to confront what's in front of us without avoidance or suppression, which uh, Pisces has a tendency to want to skirt things um, by suppressing emotion through substance. Um, and Slim and Sassy will help us meet life head on in and take advantage of that Aries moon energy and get things done, not procrastinate, etc., cetera, um, and not self-medicate, no procrastination or self-medication. So, okay, so Mercury goes into Pisces at 524 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
Uh, I do want to point out that Mercury retrograde um, ended a while back. I don't remember the exact date, early March, I think, or, or late February, something like that. I've, I've mentioned it in the videos. But then there was that shadow period that happens after the retrograde. That actually ended on the 13th, uh, which was on Saturday on the new moon. So uh, that's an interesting aspect to that new moon and really f loosening up and freeing energy to really move things along and, and, and no, no blockage. Because Mercury retrograde ended, but still in that shadow period, we have aspects to Mercury retrograde that linger. So this will definitely um, catapult the energy to a different level. Uh, this afternoon, Mercury goes into Pisces at 5.24 p.m. This will uh, last until April 1st. Uh, let's talk about Mercury. Mercury is the planet of, out, of communication. It is in general heady, outgoing. Um, it is uh, very detail-oriented. Or it rules our thought processes. Um, so going into Pisces is an interesting energy. Traditionally speaking, it wouldn't be an optimal placement for Mercury, but I, I, I don't want to focus on the traditional speaking aspect. I want to focus on the positive aspects of Pisces, which I've talked at length about Pisces being extremely feeling oriented, feeling dominated. Um, Mercury in Pisces will make the, the, all those things mentioned, communication, thought processes, um, our intellect, be more feeling dominated. So this um, will definitely notice um, ourselves being more, more gut level oriented. So, um, so listen, Pisces will make us more receptive to our intuition, heightened ESP, heightened telepathy, especially under the fact that we are now in this new air energy, AIR, uh, of a new 200-year cycle that I've talked about at length that began December 21st. So um, with that, I do believe that we'll be, more, we'll be experiencing more telepathy in general. So um, anyway, you can also expect that when Mercury is in Pisces, that dreams will be more vivid. Um, Anyway, this is a good time to communicate your feelings and to be receptive to the feelings of others. So the nonverbal cues that people give you, uh, you'll be more receptive to paying attention to them and then confronting them and communicating your emotional needs, listening to other emotional needs, etc. Uh, all right, so all, with all of that in mind, balance is good with all this Pisces energy to keep us feet on the ground, tuned into earth and our body. Pisces can be very dreamy and kind of spacey. Balance will help root you in your body, uh, helps to get rid of negativity and um, it's got frankincense in it. So that's part of why I'm saying that. Frankincense helps to clear discordant energies. Uh, balance is topical and aromatic only. So bottom of the feet is a good place back of the neck, wrists, um, balance and wild orange are actually a nice combo because wild orange will be that upper uh, and balance will be the grounder. So you've got two polarities and so together they really help to attune the body on a, on a great note. Uh, I chose peppermint today because peppermint is gonna really clear our head. Peppermint, I would do exactly what I did in yesterday's video, so I'm not gonna be redundant. Um, put that in your palms, cup that over your nose and mouth without touching your eyes. Take some deep breaths through the nose and mouth and then do the alternate nostril breathing that I mentioned in yesterday's video. That will help to uh, keep the momentum of this Aries moon energy going so that you can check those things off your to-do list, feel empowered by taking action and getting things done. Uh, Pisces will give, I mean, what am I saying? Peppermint will give you energy. Um, so again, water, wild orange, peppermint. 
I, I'm funny because I put a lot of things in my water. If you if you know me well, you know that I usually have some kind of a essential oil cocktail going on. But in this case, I uh, have green mandarin, slim and sassy, wild orange, and peppermint. I chose green mandarin today because it's one of the oils I recommended for the new moon. And I do want to keep that new moon energy. It's Monday today. We're in Aries energy. We're coming out of the Pisces new moon energy, but still we've got all this Pisces energy with, again, so that's Mercury, Sun, Venus, and Asteroid Palace all in Pisces. This will help keep you more childlike and um, dream, help you to dream big and keep positive about the actions you're taking towards your goals. Uh, taking it internally is a next level experience. I chose uh, Clary Calm today because Clary Calm is so helpful in tending to our emotional body, which is going to be definitely amped up with all this Pisces energy. Pisces is all about the feels. So um, anyway, with Green Mandarin, Wild Orange, and Slim and Sassy, do be attentive to the fact that all of those can cause photosensitivity if you're going to put them on topically and be out in the sun. So be mindful of that. Um, and and I guess even Clary Calmwood, because it does have bergamot in it or bergamot, however you choose to say that, um, that is a very, uh, that's a citrus oil, but bergamot is very good for self-love. So Clary Calm will help to uh, allow you to listen to your emotions feel them, process them, let them guide you. Um, and, oh, the last aspect of tonight, this is part of why I chose this one. Uh, at 10.36 p.m., the moon in Pisces is squaring Pluto. Pluto is the planet of birth and death, uh, regeneration, um, beginnings, endings. This square, the Aries moon is going to... Um, is going to pull up to the surface subconscious feelings. Aries doesn't necessarily like feelings. It is not a feeling, uh, a feeling sign. So um, Clary Calm will help you deal with whatever is being pulled up to the surface so that you can, with this energy, it will be more about just uh, letting things bubble up to the surface to, um, to, to free up energy so that you can do the things that you're committed to. And uh, so this will help keep you in that mindset of really like not resisting, suppressing emotions, both slim and sassy and clary calm are very good at helping you to um, let those feelings come up, process them in healthy ways and move on uh, like Aries likes to do to get things done. So, all right. Well, I think that's all I'm going to share about today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and supporting this uh, channel. I really appreciate it. I have listed some links below the title to this video for those of you that are called to make uh, some financial contribution or make a fin financial contribution. For those of you that have, I really appreciate it. It has helped um, keep this momentum going. And anyway, thank you so much. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.